What's up, YouTube? It's me, Gio, from Robinhood Investing with Gio. In today's video, I thought I'd teach you guys how to sell cash-covered puts for weekly income. A lot of us want to make a little bit extra income each week, but don't actually physically want to work. With this strategy, you could actually make weekly income by sitting in the comfort of your home. All right, guys, stay tuned. Hey YouTube friends and family, just a friendly reminder, if you enjoy content like this that is free, educational, and not being hidden behind a paywall, consider subscribing to my channel. Alright guys, let's get into this. Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to teach you how to sell cash covered puts. Cash covered puts is a great bullish way to buy a company at a potential discount, and I'll explain. For this example, we'll use Palantir Technologies. So we click on Palantir Technologies options. If you guys remember my previous videos, you would recall that buying a call meant that you thought the company's price was going up. And if you remember, also in my previous videos, buying a put meant that you thought the company was going down. However, when you sell a put, that's actually a bullish sign. Put normally, you would equate it with something that's bearish but when you sell a put that's actually bullish and I'll explain so for here we have the current share price of pound here at $25.92 and what you're doing is you're going to actually sell a sell a put below the line of the current share price for this example we'd get something around $25 so what we're suggesting is our current share price of $25.92 will not fall before below the strike price of $25. And in return of this share price not falling below $25, we will get 73 cents per 100 shares. And if you remember, when you buy contracts or sell contracts, it's 100 shares. So one contract equals 100 shares. So 73 cents times 100 shares, $73. And we would have to put a collateral because we're suggesting that this price is not gonna go below $25. We'd have to put a collateral because we potentially have to buy shares at $25. And that would be 25, again, because it's 100, times 100 would be the collateral we need to put. We would need to put $2,500 of collateral. And in return, we'll get 73 cents times 100, which is again, $73. Important thing to focus on here, in addition to the strike price, is the break even. You'll continue to make a profit as long as the break even doesn't go below $24 and 27 cents. In this example, the reason that the break even is $24.27 is because that's adding on top not only of the strike price because it's considering it gave you 73 cents so $25 take away 73 cents equals break even $24.27 so this would be a break even so this price could actually go down to $24.50 and you will still get a credit you will still get a credit of $24.50 take away $24.27 that would equal 23 cents we could do it in the calculator so it was at $24.50 and we take away $24.27 and we're still left with 23 cents times 100 is 23 dollars so we would still get a profit despite this going below our strike price we'd have to buy the shares up but we still get a 23 dollar profit regardless and much like all options trading it all has an expiration date for this current example our 25 dollar strike price we get 73 cents and the expiration date is January 22nd but the further out we go on these expiration dates this is a one-week contract we could do bi-weekly contracts 
they add a little bit more risk because the more time you add on to a contract, the more risk you take on on both sides, the buyer and also the seller. So this biweekly option, again, the same strike price, now increase to $1.57, but remember, it's times 100, so it's $157. But me personally, I would not be doing bi-weekly or monthly selling puts. Because again, more risk, the more reward is not outweighing the potential that this share price could plummet significantly, and you would still need to buy it at $25. You would get your premium, but you could potentially own shares that are around $23, canceling out any gains you had in the process. So for me personally, I would stick with the weekly options when you buy, when you sell puts. So yeah guys, this is a great, great strategy to do if you're looking for passive weekly income. You can buy potentially shares of a company that you want to own. In the process, it may never get to that share price, but you'll continue to get a premium of $73, $52, whatever you might choose as your strike price, week in and week out, and the process continually waiting patiently until one day you can get share price below the share price of the underlying stock. So yeah guys, that's my video for selling put options on Robinhood. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, commenting, liking the video. I would greatly appreciate it. My name is Gio, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, take care everyone.